gents, what's going on? I'm Junior with SOT Metaworks. If you're new to the channel, we're fixing to get on the CNC plasma table back here and do a little fine, outstanding metal artwork. Uh, make up a few metal signs. Maybe work on some AR-500 steel targets. Heck, who knows what we're going to do. But I know one thing we do have to do. We've got a special customer, Tom, uh, that has ordered two big signs from us. We're fixing to get after them, uh, get the camera on the table here, walk you guys through the process, and see just exactly how this is going to turn out. Gonna be a little welding involved, uh, gonna be a little plasma cutting involved, but a little painting involved. So hopefully if you're new to the channel, you like it, you stick around, hang out with us and see just what happens. So let's get over here on the table, get busy and get after it and see what kind of product we can turn out. Hi, right, ladies and gents, can you see me? A little smoky in here. Uh, didn't quite have the uh, the table cut off there for the exhaust fan, but it's uh, it's drawing it out as we go. But we can't slow down. Christmas orders are Christmas orders. So what do we got? We've got Tom's uh, two signs. Got both of these, uh, and then we've got the backers. So we're gonna get these over here on the wire wheel. We do the old wire wheel here. Nothing too major. Uh, this thing here used to be about twice twice that long before Christmas started. So uh, <laughs> we have been, uh, we've been getting the good out of that one. All right, something I would like to go over. If you guys are watching this channel and you've got a CNC plasma business or what have you, this right here. You see this? Uh, this is almost like a tattoo type ink. This stuff is bad mojo. I mean, this, this stuff will barely come off. Uh, acetone takes this off very well. Uh, just regular thinner will not get it, or at least the stuff I've got won't get it. But acetone does a really, really good job of getting that off. That being said, if this is on the back side and it's against the wall, that's no big deal. However, if you ever have to paint over top of this, say you get your sheet upside down on the table and that ink uh is part of your front of your sign you definitely definitely have to take this off this stuff will come through primer it will come through paint it will shadow over everything 
So if you ever have your CNC plasma table going and you're going to cut signs, make sure that that ink is always on the bottom. Uh, not all metal has it. Some I've got some sheets over here that do not. Uh, the last four or five sheets I got have had it on it. So just something for any of you guys watching this who do this for a living or are thinking about doing this for a living, get rid of that stuff as soon as you can because you'll forget your primer one and it'll bleed through, guaranteed. All right, let's get Tom's signs cleaned up, get after this uh, here. So uh, one is for one of his friends and then one is for one of his friend's dads, I think that's how this goes but i'm not sure so shout out to him that's a pretty pretty good friend to have he gonna buy you some big signs like this so <laughs> all right enough rambling enough rambling let's get after it All right, almost forgot to turn you guys on. We are on the hip belly signs. We've got the bikers getting busy here with it. I uh, got the gloss black on that one. Putting the gloss black on this one. Just about forgot to turn you guys on so you can see what is going on with the process. But these uh, these bikers should turn out fairly well. Uh, you guys know how I really just love painting this gloss black because. <laughs> This color shows dirt worse than anything else. It's crazy, but uh, no, it's uh, it, it's doing okay. This is not the most clean painting facility. Trying to get everything done in here at one time is a little struggle. Normally, I get everything a little cleaner than this, but guys, we just got entirely, entirely too much going on. But hey, it is what it is. We, uh, we gotta get fired up on the table here and cut some more signs in just a minute. So these gotta go out on the paint rack. And the paint rack is filling up quick. Uh, we've got the, uh, or the drying rack, I should say. Got a little bit of everything going on over here. Uh, army signs, and, and here's the other side of the hillbilly sign, and, uh, good mom say bad words, and, uh, blue line flag, German shepherd signs, and, uh, as uh, have I told you guys, it's a little crazy here at Christmas time. I don't know if I told you that or not, but it is. In case you need to know, I just <laughs> wide open voice. But that's what we love about it. All right, let's get the other side of the hillbilly signs in here and get after it and see what happens. Hopefully, it turns out just as good as that right there. All right, ladies and gents, let's see what color we're gonna go with here. It's gonna be a hammered uh, color on the front of these hillbilly signs. <clears throat> Excuse me, holy cow. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, look different than what we normally do, but hammered green. Would you look at that? Hammered green. This color is always pretty cool. It uh, always turns out a really, really good product. I just hope I have enough of it to do both of them because I'm not sure if I can find hammer green in stock anywhere again or not. So, not going to get carried away with it here, but we are going to get good coverage out of everything. So, 
You guys know what I say. All four sides. Got to get all four sides. Them edges is important. All right, let me get after painting this. Then we'll uh, we'll get back with you and see what happens. All right, everybody, we've got the hammered green on there, as you can see. So uh, this color is a little different. Don't see a lot of hammered green signs or anything on the market. A lot of people gravitate towards this. This color is a little different in uh, people either really, really love this color or they really, really are turned off by this color. It, it, it's, it's cut and dry. There's never anybody like, oh, it's, it's okay. It uh, <laughs> always seems to be uh, hit or miss. No, no in-between whatsoever. But you guys can kind of see there. Got that textured look to it there. It's starting to come through. This is still good and wet. As that dries more and more, that texture will come out. Uh, you can see this is the second sign we painted, and it's not as textured because it's still wet. Uh, quite a bit wetter than what that one there is and it's still got that uh, textured coming through but should turn out to be pretty pretty good looking signs on that uh, gloss black backer I think it's gonna turn out a pretty awesome looking product for sure all right next thing we'll be doing we'll be putting them together and see how they turn out in full force and then we'll get them in a photo booth and see what happens but yeah let's uh, let's let these dry up it'd be another day or two for you guys see me but We'll be right back after here in just a second. All right, ladies and gents, we are back on the hillbilly sign. We have got our Gorilla double-sided tape all over this joker, making sure the shop's good and warm. So all this tape has time to lay down. It's a little later in the evening, uh, so I've been keeping everything pretty warm down here, so this is a good deal. Uh, this sign will be inside more than likely, so we won't have issues with uh, anything happening. If this sign was going to be hung outside, I would weld my studs on the back. Probably one on all four corners. We would drill our holes on our backer and then we would bolt it to the backer. That way, anything outside, you know, wind, moisture, uh, you know, anything like that will be well taken care of if it's hanging outside. So the gentleman said it's going to hang inside, so the double sided tape will work excellent. Uh, and we've done some outside signs before in the past, and they said, hey, just, just use the double sided tape. That way, if I, you know, if we got any issues or whatever, We'll, uh, we'll come back over. But those are kind of local people, and that's a good deal. I don't always trust it. I've never had an issue with it as far as I know. Nobody's ever told me there's been any issues. But you're always nervous, and you're always leery. Especially when people spend the good money they're spending for these signs. You want to turn them out the best product you can, and you don't want to have anything to fail. So it's always something I keep in the back of my mind. All right, let's get you guys set up on the table. We'll get this joker uh, laid down on here and see what happens. All right, ladies and gents, what are we doing now? We are putting the hillbilly sign together. You can see we've got our uh, double-sided Gorilla tape on there. Firm believer in that stuff. Also, we've got our parameters marked out here, uh, left and right, up and down. So hopefully, we can get this set uh, in, in the right location. Not going to guarantee this by any stretch of the imagination, but hopefully everything turns out okay. Trying to keep my fingerprints off of off of everything. Perfect, except for a few fingerprints. I hate gloss black on this stuff. It just shows everything. It's terrible. I hate it. But sometimes it's just part of it. Looking good there, looking good there, looking good there. I mean, can't get a whole lot much more better than that. Don't be touching this stuff with your greasy old hands. Don't be, don't be messing it up. All right, so what do you guys think? Yay, nay, maybe? Not, uh, not too shabby, got our mountain hose in all four corners, good to go. Sign's a little bit heavy. It's not it's not terrible though. It's not terrible at all. Alright, so we got that one done. Now I gotta go over here and get this one squared away and see just how it does. That's right. Got to got to do two. Not just one. Got to do two. So let me get back after it and we'll see what happens. And then we'll get a good picture of this. 
All right, ladies and gents, there you go. We've got the Harris. If you ain't kin, don't enter in. We've got both signs. So one of them's going to one gentleman and one of them's going to another gentleman. Uh, pretty cool deal. Family tradition type situation here where these signs used to be up back in the day or one of these signs used to be up back in the day. And uh, Mr. Tom ordered two. Uh, one for the newer generation, one for the older generation, <laughs> which... Uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know exactly all the details there that's going on. You see there's a little dust on there. Getting get them all prim and proper. but Pretty, pretty cool. Liking that uh, hammered green. Looks uh, looks pretty good. Always, always thought that was a pretty cool color. It's not forest green, but it's not lime green. It's just a good mix of in between. It's, it's sort of a, a yard grass kind of green. Maybe, sort of. I don't know difficult hard to show all that detail in these uh with all these shop lights and everything but good good looking signs all right so yeah that was the uh hillbilly sign uh pretty pretty cool deal or uh got the harris name in there everything's looking mighty prim and proper so on and so forth so tom thank you so much sir for your order uh tom chimes in on live streams every once in a while leaves his comments and stuff we've known tom for a long time now here at slt metalworks and it's uh He's been a uh, a big, big biker of SOT Metalworks. He's ordered a lot of signs over the years, and it's uh, pretty cool to see him order some more. So, can't thank him enough. But yeah, guys, if you need anything like this, shoot us an email, shootersoptiontargets at gmail.com, and we'll get you guys squared away if you need anything in any color, any size. I, you know, this, the sky's the limit when it comes to this stuff. Also, make sure you go over and check out SOTMetalworks.com. We've got a few uh, standard size signs over there. Everything's looking prim, prim and proper over there. Miss SOT's working hard keeping that uh, website going. So, All right, guys, we're going to cut on out of here. Hopefully you like this sign. Uh, we got you some information you may or may not need to know, but we'll get some more stuff cut on the plasma table and get some more videos and stuff out. So we'll see what happens. I've been wearing these logger wade shirts out. I mean, the, the, these logger wade hoodies. And they 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 kind of top notch. I'm gonna be honest with you. If it's snug, feel warm, feel good, uh, you may be able to find those at loggerway.com. But I, I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. <laughs> All right, enough rambling, enough aggravating you guys. We're gonna cut on out of here. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. And as always, remember, work smarter, not harder. And we'll catch you guys later. We out.